Today, I'm going to explain the movie, The Con Artists, released in the year 2014. Ji Hyuk is a master picklock and safe hacker, who steals and trades artifacts for a living. He's so good at what he does that he's made over a hundred thefts but has never been caught or even suspected. At the beginning of the film, we see him on one of his missions. He's breaking into a highly secured office building to steal an artifact worth a lot of money. The safe is complex and difficult to break into, but not for Ji Hyuk. He manages to unlock it in a minute and successfully steals the artifact. He also manages to trick the guards, but when he's out of danger, he accidentally breaks the expensive artifact. All the trouble Ji Hyuk went through goes to waste, but he doesn't want to give up yet. He precisely designs a copy of the statue and creates an identical version of it. He then brings the copy to a famous antique artifact seller. The man knows the statue is a fake and refuses to do business with Ji Hyuk. However, a smart Ji Hyuk asks him if he's ever sold a fake artifact before. If he wanted to, Ji Hyuk could easily prove the seller's corrupt way of working. Hence, the man has no way but to buy the statue. Ji Hyuk's partner in crime is also his best friend, Gu In. He's a mechanic and an expert in making explosives out of the simplest items. After the last heist, Ji Hyuk is now planning to make fake bills. He's able to make a unique formula that prints counterfeit but identical bills. However, the print wears off when it's exposed to alcohol. When the plan doesn't work, the duo decides to target something else, a jewelry shop that stores diamonds worth $3 million. The task is particularly difficult because the shop is heavily guarded and has CCTV cameras everywhere. To disable the cameras, they need a skilled hacker who's willing to help them. This is where a young guy named Zhang Bei comes in. Rumor has it that Zhang Bei once betrayed his partners and sold them out for money. Still, Ji Hyuk and Gu In decide to trust him with the task because he's the best in the business. Next, Ji Hyuk makes friends with a woman named Eun Ha, who's an art expert. He takes her out on a professional date and comments on her necklace, which was a gift from her late father. They go to a jewelry shop to test the authenticity of the necklace, and it turns out the little diamond is a collectible that's worth millions of dollars. When no one is looking, Ji Hyuk slides a bag under his sofa and leaves. They go to a second jewelry shop to confirm the worth of the diamond and get the same reaction from the dealer. The shop is the one Ji Hyuk is planning to rob, so he remembers the placement of the CCTV cameras, number of rooms, and number of guards. At the end of the day, he evaluates that they have to complete the robbery in less than 10 minutes. On the day of the robbery, the suitcase that Ji Hyuk left in the shop earlier causes an explosion that distracts the guards. Jiang Bei comes into play and hacks the CCTV cameras before Ji Hyuk and Gu In enter the shop. Jiang Bei also turns off the alarm system, allowing Ji Hyuk to touch the safe without the guards being alerted. A problem arises when the guards return quicker than they thought, but Gu In distracts them by breaking their car's window. In the meantime, Ji Hyuk gets his hands on the diamonds and takes them away. The trio reunites in the car and celebrates the win. The following day, the owner of the stolen diamonds, Cho, is furious, but at the same time impressed by the con artists who are able to steal through such tight security. Cho is a millionaire businessman and a gangster. He's killed several people to get where he is today and doesn't plan to back down anytime soon. Recently, he cemented his account into the ground for trying to double-cross him. Cho is also planning his own heist and needs some skilled con men for it. He's kidnapped and tested several safe crackers and pick locks for the past month, however, no one has lived up to his standard yet. Now that he knows a skilled con man is somewhere out there, he doesn't waste much time before telling his people to find out who stole the diamonds. He doesn't want to apprehend the thieves, but give them a better task. For the next few days, his men keep an eye on every diamond dealer in the city and soon find out about Ji Hyuk and his hideout. Cho meets the group and offers them a 5% commission each if they agree to help him with a heist. If they do not oblige, the loved ones of all three of them will be killed. Ji Hyuk realizes that Cho thinks Ian Ha is his girlfriend, but he doesn't bother to correct them. In the end, he accepts the offer and agrees to help. After that, Cho tells them he has $150 million worth of black money and cash being imported into Korea through Incheon Customs. It's the primary point for all imports in Korea and is heavily guarded with the best security systems in all of Asia. Alongside the cash, Cho is also importing food coupons which is perfectly legal. He wants the trio to use the coupons as a cover, 
and bring the black money out of the customs. The team agrees and starts devising an elaborate plan since this is bigger than any heist they've ever performed. While everyone is busy, Cho calls Zhang Bei for a private meeting and pays him a lot of money to keep an eye on Ji Hyuk and Gu In. He wants to make sure the two don't double-cross him. In the meantime, the police are still looking for the diamond robbers. They notice in CCTV footage that Ji Hyuk was the one who brought the explosive to the nearby jewelry store that acted as a distraction. They go to Ji Hyuk's home and find a room filled with plans and data about the next heist. It's really sloppy of Ji Hyuk to leave it all out in the open, but the police take full advantage of it and realize he and Cho are connected in some way. A day prior to the D-Day, Ji Hyuk and Gu In go to the port and set up an explosive as a distraction and a device that will help Zhang Bei to hack the port's security system. On returning to the hideout, Ji Hyuk tells Gu In that he's planning to betray Cho and get all the money by changing the coupon's delivery address to his. However, Zhang Bei hears them discussing the plan and tells Cho. Cho decides to confront Ji Hyuk later because he still needs him for the heist. In the following scene, we see Ji Hyuk outside of Yan Ha's art gallery waiting for her. She ignores him completely, given that he hasn't replied to her texts or calls. When she refuses to talk, he reveals that he's a student of her late father. We're then introduced to the master con artist who brought Ji Hyuk into the world of crime, Mr. Oh. At one point in his life, Oh realized he wanted to stop being a thief and live an honest life. However, the same day, he was killed by his business partner, none other than Cho. Ian Ha doesn't believe Ji Hyuk anymore and walks away. Only a few seconds later, she's kidnapped by Cho's people so they can keep Ji Hyuk in check. Finally, the day of the heist arrives and everyone manages to enter the port in their respective disguise as planned. The initial move begins when Cho sets off an explosive that distracts the guards and confuses them. At the same time, Zhang Bei uses his skills to hack the security's mainframe and makes it look like it was caused by the explosion. To the officials, it's a minor problem that will be solved in 40 minutes. This provides Ji Hyuk and Gu In enough time to complete their mission. They go to the secured room where Ji Hyuk cracks the safe open. They finally stand in front of a massive stack of money and are mesmerized by it. Not wasting much time, they start loading the truck with the money and swapping it with the food tickets. Just then, the police arrive at the scene after finding out about the explosion. They make rounds around the port which causes Ji Hyuk to stop seconds before he escapes with the money. Taking this as an opportunity, Ji Hyuk goes to the customs office to change the address from Cho's to his as he had planned. But after finding out about his plan from Zhang Bei, Cho is easily able to stop him. He holds Ji Hyuk at gunpoint and urges him to surrender himself to the police. When Ji Hyuk refuses, he is shown Ian Ha's necklace. To save her life, he reluctantly has to go in front of a SWAT team and surrender. Right before he's arrested, he jumps into the water and is shot in the process. Moreover, the explosive in his hand also goes off, which ensures his death. When Gu In finds out about this, he is devastated, but Zhang Bei, on the other hand, is happy that they get to keep his share of the money. He and Gu In get into an altercation that ends when Zhang Bei stabs Gu In and leaves him to die. Finally, the container ship makes it to Cho, but when he opens it, he's surprised to see it filled with coupons and not money. As he loses his mind over where the money went, he gets a call from Ji Hyuk who turns out to be well and alive. It is then revealed that everything Ji Hyuk did since the beginning of the film was to destroy Cho for murdering Mr. Oh. Firstly, the artifact he stole and replaced with a fake one had a microphone inside of it. He knew Cho was a regular customer of the dealer. Luck worked in Ji Hyuk's favor and Cho bought the artifact in an auction. Then, he found out about Cho looking for a safe hacker and decided to steal the diamonds to come into his view. All this time when Cho thought he was chasing Ji Hyuk, it was Ji Hyuk who was leaving clues for him. Zhang Bei was also with the group all along and was asked to pretend to be on Cho's side. The SWAT team that was about to arrest Ji Hyuk in the port were his own people in disguise, and the bullet was also fake. They saved Gu In later from where he was pretending to be dead. In the end, Cho doesn't have his money, and Ji Hyuk has called the police on him. The hideout is raided right after the call, and Cho's men start fighting the police while trying to save their lives. When everyone is distracted, Zhang Bei saves Yan Ha and brings her away from danger. Cho sees the chaos his plan has turned into and escapes the scene. 
A few hours later, everything calmed down in the hideout. Since no one is around, Ji Hyuk's people come to take the food coupon even though it's not worth a lot. But then, we find out that the coupons are actually the money that they were supposed to steal. When they were transferring the money in the port, they were also printing it on the fake bill printer that Ji Hyuk created long ago. When a bill goes through the printer, it comes out as a coupon due to the oxidation, but will turn back to money when treated with alcohol. Since Cho didn't know about this, he saw the coupons and thought he lost the money when it was in front of him the entire time. As a final blow, Ji Hyuk crashes into Cho's car and leaves him to the cops. In their hideout, the coupons are showered in alcohol and turned into real money. After the incident, Ji Hyuk goes missing in action for a few months. Then one day, Yun Ha receives a lot of money from him that he had promised he would give her to start an art gallery in Dubai. Yan Ha uses the money as she had wished long ago. On her trip to Dubai, she also notices her necklace in a museum that she lost when she was kidnapped. Suddenly, Ji Hyuk appears behind her and the movie ends as the two reunite. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.